hello guys how are you okay so in this video I am going to create a basic API server without any framework I will simply use uh, um, HTTP module and uh, socket server module I am not going to use flask or Django so uh, but this method is uh, is not recom uh, recommended for production because uh, this module uh, implements just basic securities as per their documentation but this is very useful for uh, beginners so let's start and uh, if you are uh, if you want to use in uh, production but uh, don't have uh, big risk in your uh, business so you can I think use it okay so let's create let me show you two methods first we can also run it like this without any without any coding http dot server 8000 okay let me show you well, let me zoom it so you can easily view it I think this will be enough okay so you can see I just ran a server without any code here let me show you localhost 5000 no sorry 8000 right okay it's not going to uh, show anything because I did not create an index file so let's stop it let me create a basic index file by default it shows an index file index.html okay so I am creating a basic index file please watch entire video so you will not uh, miss anything To learn anything you have to build up patience without patience we can't learn anything hello world this is index file serve by basic api server okay now we are uh, run it again see okay see now here is the our index file okay now let's create a code why are we creating a code we are creating a code if we want to serve customized pages customized request that's why we need to create a code for that but if you just want to show a static index file or something like that you can simply uh, use the first method I just uh, a demo I just given you a demo okay okay so here we will import server sorry HTTP dot server okay and we also need to import socket server socket server here we will create a class my handler okay and here http dot server dot simple simple http request handler okay we need to implement this extend this class now here we need to override the function do get self okay here we can uh, create our conditions like uh, if self dot path 
if it's root path then what file we need to show so self.path we can show well uh, index.html uh, can be uh, uh, displayed by default you don't need really uh, this uh, uh, this criteria for uh, in survey index.ph uh, sorry I'm talking about PHP <laughs> sorry sorry uh, index.html right but if we want to uh, show some other file like my other other page okay so we need to create such criteria sorry for my bad language I'm in bad English okay here we will return http dot server dot simple http request handler and here self okay now we can define here a port port 5000 okay now handler my handler my handler okay here I will also uh, invoke a socket server say oh, okay let me show you <laughs> let me show you okay my server my server socket server okay tcp server here we need to define port and here we will use our class object handler my server dot serve for oh sorry serve forever okay I will show you further but let me uh, show how this is going to work I know my other page dot HTML we need to create this page Okay, this is my other page okay let's start the server okay let's check it 5000 right let's see mm, something went wrong let me see mm, okay sorry mm. Mm -hmm. okay let me see what's wrong here I think everything is, uh, looks fine okay one thing I missed uh, here do get okay now it should work let's print a message as well server started at port Country server dot file. Mm, I print message after uh, uh, serving the uh, starting the server. That's why it's not printed here, but it should be running here. 
yeah it's working good okay so it worked now let me show you how can we customize another URL so nano server dot okay like here if we create something like uh, any variable or any other page name like my other page then this page will be displayed otherwise index.html will be displayed by default okay here let me print a message first then my server dot serve forever guys please like and share my video and please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press bell icon so you will not miss my upcoming videos you can see the message is printed here let me show you I did not pass any uh, variable or any page oh let me see okay intention error okay wait the address is already in use let me change the port 8000 okay now it should be fine okay so I'm telling you I did not uh, pass any uh, variable or uh, other page name that's why it's showing my index file here if I pass variable like my other page as I coded in the script it should show the my other page got HTML yeah it worked fine okay so we are done with this basic API server I will create another video on uh, advancing this uh, API server okay also one more thing I would like to tell you see when I uh, when I press ctrl plus C it interrupted okay if you want to keep uh, running it you can use a screen or a docker like that you can uh, run this API server in daemon mode so it will not stop until you stop it okay so thank you for watching the video and uh, please forgive me for my mistakes see you in next video please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you see you in next video goodbye